So I don't know if you saw yesterday's video, but if you did, you know I'm going on a little road trip. I converted my little mini Prius C into a stealth camper. Woo, hello, Harold's a little heavy. Harold, come, come on. Why you gotta be like that? Just so I can get out into nature a little bit, I'm feeling it. I need it right now, so that does not mean we're skipping out on our goals. So I'm gonna take you along with me today. And first things first, I'm going to eat a pretty big meal this morning. I'm gonna drive up to Arches, and who knows what kind of food I'm gonna find along the way. Some little ranch spits. You guys like spits? I love spits. I did pack some snacks, but that's definitely not gonna hold me over the whole time. I already packed all my oatmeal, so I think I'll make cream of wheat and then a few eggs. And I have a cooler, so I'm gonna bring some food with me. But I'm gonna eat a nice big meal just to get my day started off right. And then I'm going to somehow manage to squeeze all of this junk into my Prius. I'm doing daily vlogs here. If you wanna follow that journey in more detail, my more produced videos are on my other channel, Bucket List Chick, so if you wanna check it out. It's my old music channel. Where my goals are to meditate, listen to something inspirational, get in my workout, eat intuitively, get in 10,000 steps, and get out into nature. I think those will be pretty easy to do today, but we'll see. Here's breakfast. Breakfast. cream of wheat with a little bit of cream honey and walnuts for a little omega-3 fatty acids and then three fried eggs yeah boy all right everything's in the car <gasps> now I'm ready for a nap that was that was a lot that was a lot of work everything's packed everything's planned out let's hit the road oh, oh, oh. interesting. I did not expect it to snow. I checked the weather this morning and it said light showers then it turned to snow. Anyways, I'm just pulling over for a little snack. Gonna grab a coffee probably. I decided to go straight to Moab to go to Arches National Park instead of Angel's Landing today. I'm gonna do Angel's Landing on the way back so I think the weather will be better in a couple days there so. I'm a little uh, hotel Prius. I'm rocking it. And if I wanted to I could just pull over for a nap. Sounds nice. Sounds real nice but I'm gonna keep cruising. I'd like to get there before sundown. So it's chilly. Got hot coffee with creamer. I had to like take everything out to get a lousy little yogurt. And then I found a banana. Then I had to take everything out on the other side to get to my granola, but it was so worth it because I am hungry. And I got a few other little snacks, some little ranch spits. You guys like spits? I love spits. And then some like trail mix stuff that I'm gonna take on my hike tomorrow and I might munch on this a little bit. That's my snack. Cool. Oh, and then I had to go digging for a spoon. Where'd it go? But all I brought were forks and knives. So I'm gonna eat my yogurt with a fork, I suppose. Yeah, there's a little lookout over here. Feels good to get out and stretch the legs. You know, oh my gosh, this is pretty. I don't even know where I am, I have no idea. No clue, no clue. Ooh, it is brisk. Oh, it's really pretty out here. I have to get the trunk open shot. I mean, come on. Come on. Where am I? I don't know. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I think we're about an hour away. You feel so far away though you're close. Where's your mind that I want to know? A penny for your thoughts. I'm not gonna lie, it's making me a little nervous that we're almost there. My back window is like frozen, frozen solid. I guess I can leave my car. 
car on all night if I have to, with the heater on. Thank you, Prius. Thank you for your battery. Here come some van lifers. What's up? I wanna know what's inside that heart of yours. Ooh, I feel paper thin. There's another view area. We're going for it. Doing it. It's called Devil's Canyon. I think I'm gonna get my bed set up here and so I can do it in the daylight as well as I don't want like people to see me setting up my bed. And I also kind of want to watch the sunset from here. So it's a good sunset spot. Oh, that is pretty though. No, this is not the spot. We'll find another spot. When will you let me in? for a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna run out of cell service anytime soon. I'm two and a half hours away from Arches, but I want to find a place to sleep tonight. So a place to park my car. I've heard that the iOverlander app is really good for finding places to stay. So let's see, different free spots or campsites, stuff like that. So I'm gonna navigate there because I think I just will feel better if I know where I'm sleeping tonight. And I'm gonna get there after dark. So should probably figure that out. All right, I think I found a spot. It just says free outdoor camp lands. This place is awesome. 20 minutes from Arches. Free land to camp on. <gasps> That's the picture they're showing. Okay, this might be a very snowy journey. I don't know. We'll see. totally needed to find a gym and it's like maybe not the most lovely part of town but there's obviously some van life furs here we're gonna go here i'm gonna go work out i need to stretch my legs i was gonna just go park and then set up shop but i just realized i didn't bring pajamas or gym clothes my hiking pants are gonna be the same as my gym pants I'm only going in there if they have showers, too. So I'm gonna need to wash my body. Pretty sure I forgot my baby wipes. What am I doing with my life? I don't know. I don't know. This is where this is where life took me today. So we're here. Let's do this. Crap. You totally have to come before 5 p.m. Okay, scratch that idea. Maybe we'll go downtown and find some grub. Walk around for a little while. I don't know. Let's go check out Moab. Nothing's really sounding good food-wise. All right, so Moab is looking not so tasty right now. I don't know. I just went in. There's like a Cobb salad for $15. I was going to get it, but I have food in my cooler. Tonight, I'm just going to rough it. There's this place called Willow Springs Road. It's BLM land. I went to the bathroom. I'm not going to drink any more water tonight. Hopefully, that's it situation is taken care of. But um, yeah, this is 22 minutes away. Let's Head go. North on US 191 North South Main Street. Okay, I changed my mind again. I'm at a hotel parking lot. I'm at a Hyatt. I don't know. I don't, you're not really allowed to park here, I don't think, but no one has like passes in their windows. We'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna crank up my heat for a little bit, let it run, and I'm gonna go set up shop. I kinda like that there's a lot of light around. I don't feel like anyone's gonna like tamper with the vehicle. And there's a sprinter van like right over there, so I feel like, you know, they're chilling too, so. I guess this is what I'm doing. I have a bunch of stuff to hang up. I have lights to hang up. I need to like section off the back so you can't see in the windows. I mean, if you wanna watch me sleep, I'm super flattered, but it's creepy. It's creepy. I did already make my bed earlier though. So let me show you the situation. Maybe I'll like make my bed here and then I'll drive somewhere else and park. I was gonna go to that free camping site, but it said it was kind of rough terrain. I don't know if a little snowflake can, can handle it. It's so tiny back here. Found my little pins. Gonna hang up some little curtain things so people can't see in. Okay, so um, um push pin, push pin plan. No bueno, did not work. Definitely should have done this in the daylight. I was hoping I could black it out in here so then I could put some cute little, cute little string lights. But that's like way too obvious. You guys cannot see this, but there's just pillow here, pillow there and there. Thank God I brought pillows. And this is my yoga mat. Dude, maybe I will go to that BLM land. This feels weird because there's like lights everywhere. I don't know. What do I do? I feel weird. I feel like at the other place, at least there's like other people camping. And this feels like really weird. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the other place. It's pretty warm back here, actually. It's like actually really hot. This is craziness. Craziness. Like if I have to piss in the middle of the night, 
I'm not gonna come out here. What all boils down to is I just have no idea what I'm doing with my life right now. I just wanna see the arches, that's all I want. All right, we're gonna make it happen. I don't know. I just wouldn't be able to turn on my twinkle lights so I can do some editing, chill. I basically didn't get any of my goals in today. I didn't even meditate this morning. Fail, fail. That's okay, let's go find a place to park. I'm literally like in this random parking lot right now. Like they're parked here, why can't I park here? I'm sure I could, I'm just afraid that I'm not supposed to park here. And there's literally a cop sitting right there on the side of the street, so that was neat. Yeah, I should just go to a designated parking area. That's what I've learned. Oh shoot, me and Snowflake, we going off road in. Ooh, you can see so many stars out here. Well, I guess we're just driving into the middle of freaking nowhere. Oh, I see a van there. That's cool. Oh, I see a lump, like a sprinter van lump. I don't know, do I go join them? Like, how far do I have to drive down this road? How do you do this? I love how millennials made like being homeless cool. It's hilarious. Okay, so that's an RV. Here's a little van situation. Oh, it's a Prius like me and they have a pop-up tent. Good job, Snowflake, you're doing so good. It's times like this in my life, I wonder how did I get here? Do I just go like park next to someone? Like, are these people all together? Like free reign? Nope, Prius can't make it over that. No, not even. Not even a little bit. We're just gonna keep driving into the boondocks, I suppose. Someone just sitting in their car on their iPhone. That's cool. Are we there yet? Jeez. Okay, I'm just being a jerk now because I'm like shining my lights on everybody, I realized. Okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my yoga mat up here. We can like black out the front. Lesson number one of Hotel Prius. Arrive at your destination during daylight and set up all your shit. Ideally, I'd have magnetic things that just clip in the windows. But we got blankets, we got pillows, we got more blankets. And thank God Prius has a really good battery because I can like leave the lights on for a little bit, but that's going off. And cue the fairy lights. Yes, God. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I feel way more comfortable here than I did at that hotel. And I'm glad I left because there was a cop like sitting there staring at me on the street. And he was like, oh, I caught you, girl. And I was like, I was like, yeah, you caught me. You married, you want my number? Oh my God, guys, I am so Pinterest. Oh my gosh. It's time to get comfy. This is kind of my test to see if I could do like an extended sprinter van situation. If I can do mini Prius overnight, I'm pretty sure I can do a sprinter van. This curtain situation is just, it's not, it's not my favorite. It is not my favorite. Shove that in there. Sweet baby Jesus, this is actually almost comfortable. No, it actually is really comfortable. I just somehow need to get under my covers now. By the way, like I've been watching some videos on people like converting their Prius and they actually like live in it, but I have like the mini Prius and I'm five foot eight. So I'm a little squished. A little squished. But I sleep full fetal position, so we should be fine. Um, anyways, I'm actually gonna take a moment right now to get some work done. I'm gonna edit a video. And man, it gets stuffy in here. I like when I open the door, but I wanna keep all the heat in. Anyway, here we are. What temperature is it in Moab, Utah? <gasps> There's only two bars of service, I know that. At least we have service a little bit. Okay, 36 degrees right now, and it's gonna get down to 25. I think I can handle that. I think I can handle that. I have so many blankets. I'm gonna show you tomorrow like how I made my bed. I'm gonna be inside my sleeping bag under like eight blankets. I don't know what I did in my life to get me to this point in time, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I just needed to get out, just get out of my normal routine and see some pretty things that I've been saying I want to see since I moved to St. George, because they're so close. Like this was a four and a half hour drive from St. George, so we're gonna go see some pretty shit tomorrow. So I was way freaked out. It's been about 30 minutes and I've just been like posting stuff on Instagram. I have like three bars of service, no, two bars. It like goes in between two and three bars, but like in the middle of nowhere and I can just like text people and this is fun. This is really fun, you guys. This is like, camping on crack but i feel more safe i wouldn't feel safe in a tent by myself i don't think it's like being in a locked car and then having all like my cozy blankies it's so cute <gasps> anyway gonna edit a video but it might rain tonight and i kind of want it to that would make it even more cozy somehow it is bedtime i am gonna complete one more goal today i'm gonna listen to a sleep meditation very excited about it 
Anyway, thank you for joining me today in this video. I actually didn't eat dinner because I'm not that hungry and there's way too much shit on top of my cooler and I'm not really that hungry because I ate so much trail mix on the road. So, good night you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so scared right now. That's not funny. That's not funny.